Nigeria's renewed hope budget, set to be approved in January 2024, aims for fiscal sustainability, economic growth and security, marking the country's highest ever budget. Joining us now to look at the 2024 budget presentation is an international finance and economic analyst, Mukhtar Mohammed. Good evening and welcome to our news, Mukhtar. Thank you for having me this evening. Okay, we've seen this ambitious budget that the president has said is going to uh, see to uh, a job field economy and it's going to address security issues and so many other concerns. And uh, both the uh, House of Reps and the Senate are very confident that this uh, budget is going to do just what it has said is going to do. Do you share the same uh, opinion with them? I'm happy that you use my word that I've been using throughout today when I, when I saw the budget. Ambitious, very, very ambitious budget, um, an ambitious administration. When you look at the key indices of those budgets, you just wish if they will come to pass, then that, is, that would really be good. But where I am now, where I'm seated now with what I'm seeing, I, I'm not as optimistic as they are, but maybe they have better information than me because I've not seen the details of this uh, budget. Maybe they have seen the details. We are still waiting for the budget, Minister for Budget and Planning to give us more details. But where I am now with what the President have listed are uh, key areas, I can say for sure it will be very, very difficult to, 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 to get this video, uh, budget up on stream. You are looking at a GDP of 3.7. I mean, how is that achievable in an economy that is struggling to, to even pay salaries for a civil servant that we say the borrow and 45 percent of revenue is going into debt servicing but again you will be happy that it's more than it is less than what was happening before before we're doing about 87 to 90 percent of our revenue was going to debt services so, so we have 45 percent uh also you look at the oil benchmark i was excited at 73 but they have moved it to 79 i mean 77 but you know you and i know that that might not be the end because the legislators also may decide to jack it up so um in terms of um, 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 uh, other variables of that um, budget, exchange rate was moved from 700 to 750. It's still, it's still it's, I mean, for me, that's the right um, price of the Naira to the dollar. But unfortunately, there's no liquidity. So I hope they will be able to attract liquidity to maintain that rate. I'm excited again that we'll see um, foreign foreign borrowing is coming down. Um, it's about 30, is it about 30 to 33%. And domestic borrow is going to go up. And with domestic borrow, you don't have to deal with currency fluctuation, exchange, and volatility. So, um, again, I'm also excited that um, budget deficit has come down from 11 trillion to 9 trillion. And so, I'm also excited that we're looking at revenue at 18 trillion. Uh, but um, um, oil production at 1.78 million barrel per day, revenue at 18 trillion. And uh, the president has assured that. More businesses will not be taxed, but they will widen the tax bracket, get more Nigerian to tax. So we are waiting, we are watching, but it, like you said, it's a very ambitious budget. Yeah, but to realize all the things that are in the budget, it goes beyond just voting money for particular things to be done. Do you see a policy direction that is going to help the country achieve what they want to achieve with this kind of a budget? Policy direction, $1 trillion economy. <laughs> That, that way we are moving to. So um, I'm, I'm surprised that Mr. President never made mention of it today in his budget uh, presentation, the $1 trillion economy. I thought that was what we should be hearing all through. So I think that's a policy roadmap. I want to get, get an economy that's $1 trillion. Um, the, the statement, like I said, is more or less like uh, the politician is telling us what you do, like you stay campaigning. But we are waiting for those details to know if this budget can see the light of the day. Like you rightly pointed out, it, look, it, it needs a lot of structuring to be able to get this budget right. You need to look at how can you govern it. The president said they will drop by inflation from a high of 30% to 21.4%. That is extremely ambitious. And he said the cost of doing business will come down with the rising cost of energy. I wonder how we are going to achieve that. So there's a, uh, we, need, we need a lot of um, structure to be put in here. And that's why I'm saying that we, we, we might just have to wait for the Minister for Budget and Planning. The borrowing is still there. Remember, Mr. President is borrowing about 7.8 billion, even if he has a monotron of uh, about 10, 22 years at, at, and at a percentage of 2.5%, which is, which is not bad. And so that's why our debt profile has not gone up because we're not stopping that debt. 
2022 years from now. So he said those are going to critical infrastructure. You know, the president keeps saying critical infrastructure. We need to know what these critical infrastructures are. And that's what we'll be asking the Minister for Budget and Planning because it's good. A borrowing itself is not a bad idea, but we must be sure that we are borrowing for capital expenditure and this expenditure can be able to take care of, the, of themselves to provide the, 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 the needed liquidity to pay off this debt. It's not just borrowing for consumption, like what we saw in the supplementary budget, where almost all of it, all of it, was made off of consumption. With the exception, even if with that exception of the school, the student loan, uh, but again, that also is made for consumption because it's not bringing any money into the economy. So I'm not really very, very um, um, optimistic. I think it's an ambitious budget, but again, we have to wait and see if we see the light of the day. Yeah, well, let's hope that uh, the words of the uh, Speaker of the House of Representatives will come to pass, where they will have to pass this budget by the people and see how, or feel the pulse of the people and see if they like it or there are things that need to be, you know, adjusted a little bit. We'd like to thank you so much, uh, Mukhtar, for coming on the program uh, this evening. Thank you for having me. Have a lovely night. You too. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.